Mm -mm. It's not quite ready for this like aggressively cold weather that we're all of a sudden having. Uh, full of rares though. We come back today, do some more dirt work. We have a full morning before that happens. I'm excited to show you guys what's been going on. Are you ready for breakfast? Are you being silly? Are you just running around like a crazy dog? Oh, good boy. She's empty. I'm trying to keep these kitties out of here with no luck. Here, Waffles. Waffles sounds like he's dying. It's time for some dog food. I'll just dump what I've got left in here. I've got kitties everywhere. They're kind of figuring it out. But I think Shadow, for the most part, eats in here. I don't think she and Shrubby get along very well. What's all over your face? Have you been in a fight? Yes. That's not good. Let's not be in a fight. Let's not be in a fight. Yeah, her nose is all cut up. Barn cats. Good morning. Good morning. Are you guys noisy? You chase Bunny and Nani out of here? See buns. Pregnant lady, are you ready to get out for the day? Okay, I do not like being cooped up. If it does not mean extra food. Okay, let's get you back. I think using that extra feeder is working out. That gives them like one more space. That gives us five spots to spread out our 12 or so goats that are in here. I really wish Daisy and Poppy would let other people eat at their feeder because it's a little silly that they have all this food and they don't share. I mean, I give them less in that feeder because I know only the two of them are gonna eat, but now what we'll probably end up doing here before long is just lock everybody in a specific stall so that this bouncing feeder to feeder thing will end. But that's working out pretty nicely so far. These guys are wild. Uh, that's a lot of slobber, man. That's a lot of slobber. displeased that I put um, pellets in her bowl so she is slowly dumping them out so that she can get to the green. The boys are eating both happily and I don't know about pork chop. He eats around the pellets too but the pellets are always gone so I don't know if they just don't eat them and the boys come back and eat all the pellets because they're hungry. I don't know and she's gonna chase some bold wool now because she doesn't want these pellets. It may be that these little goats just eat them all. Eggs. Boiled, rotten. They'll eat those pellets, but not their favorite. The goats won't leave the pellets, where the pigs probably would just walk away and leave the pellets. The goats won't. The goats will eat them, but they'll prefer grain. Pellets are what they actually need. Let everybody settle down, except for my two who get beat up and they're out here. We'll open up a new hay bale for them in a minute. Get them fed and swept out for the day. 
On to bigger things. Curly has a friend that's come to hang out with him. They're rubbing all in the, the freshly turned over dirt. Boys are not going to be happy with them for doing that, but it's what it is. All right, buddies. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. them a couple of flakes today too. So we can get back out here this afternoon. Can't decide if this is Wilbur that's come with him or if it's a cow. It looks like Wilbur. Curly will find a way. The dumbest cow that we have. You guys ready for your first clue to what's happening we'll give you one little tiny clue and then probably the next thing is gonna be pretty obvious there's a lot to this story so but i'm excited i think you guys are gonna be excited so this is your first clue we have taken most of the things put them in boxes refrigerator is not where it normally is i think you guys are gonna be excited just for the content that's gonna come out of this and hopefully just excited for us in general. Let's take the boys some hay. I forgot. And I turned their bucket over and they're standing there looking at it like uh, it's empty. We'll give them a little bit of hay. And I think what I'm gonna do is put one of these round bales in the corner in their small pen and take a panel that we're not using and kind of put around it so they have to stick their head through to eat it. We may actually use one of these smaller hog panels so Chief can reach over the top but nobody can go lay in it. That's the goal. Cause he's hungry. We'll get him that this afternoon. We gotta get the morning stuff done first. I gotta go inside now and be ready. You wanna guys wanna know like the funniest thing about Pyrenees? It's waiting patiently for a dog bone. His dog bone box has been out here for 24 hours. Hasn't touched it, hasn't stuck his nose in it, hadn't tried to get a box himself, a bone, hasn't dragged the box off. Standing here, patiently waiting. He knows it's not his. Ah, uh -uh, sit down. Good boy. It's the wildest thing. He's been that way since he was a puppy. There's just certain things that he knows aren't his until you tell him he just leaves them alone. Other things, not so much. Parents are so weird. So this is your, your pretty much giveaway hint, is this. This is what we're doing today. And I'm really excited to show you guys where we're going. We're not completely moving today. We're moving kind of half the farm today, not the animals. They will go eventually. But some of our stuff over to our new place. And when we get over there, I'll show you exactly what it looks like and what we're gonna do. And we're basically gonna build our new homestead from scratch. And I'm really excited to take you guys on that fun journey. I think you're gonna be excited. We're gonna get off this busy street. There's just gonna be a lot of fun things, so. Can't wait to see you guys over there. So are you guys ready for like the big reveal? This is our future homestead. It doesn't look like much right now. So you guys can see we've got a long way to go before it becomes something the animals can live on. It's five acres from here all the way to there's a creek and then over on the other side of the creek we own about a third of an acre. We've just taken down this was a fence and a playground and we've moved the playground over to my brother and sister-in-law's. We're taking the fence down partially. You see Jeremy's mapped out where the goat barn is gonna go. They're gonna have a smaller stall barn than what they have now. So this will be their stall barn. I'll be able to walk out the garage door right here to my milk room 
and then this will be like a garage carport type thing where our tractor sits and where we store our hay and the girls are gonna have it's actually gonna go all the way across now and they'll have a piece of that as an outside sleeping area the family that had lived here before just planted all these fruit trees and we're gonna keep the first three rows so we are downsizing quite a bit from our 20 acres to five. The cows will not come with us. This is more of a subdivision type area than it is agriculture. We are allowed to have our animals here, but the neighborhood is not a big fan of cattle. So that will be something that will stay over at the new property until it sells. And then we'll make a decision about whether we want to lease a place for them to go or to just sell the herd. We will see. So the boys are going to go kind of up on this hill tucked back. The pigs are going to be tucked back into this wooded area and they'll have like this whole side of the house we can't put a fence in the front of our house so I'll be behind and then the girls will go out here Duke is gonna have free roam out here as opposed to his current situation where he doesn't exactly have free roam we don't know if we're gonna move our invisible fence or not we'll see if we really need it he's never gonna be anywhere that's not fenced in we're not gonna have the need to drive through gates as much out here we're actually gonna build our road around the gates so five acres most of which is in a floodplain so we know that they're not gonna be able to build houses around us this is actually closer to town than we were. I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear how much quieter it is. And we have access to a really cool creek, which Jeremy is really excited about. We have these mature trees that are beautiful when they have leaves on them. We have some privacy on one side from our neighbors. Our other neighbors are older people who are super nice. There's not anything to develop around us. Like everything around us is in the floodplain or is already in a neighborhood with massive lots that have like a required size. That was kind of the big pull for us. We came to look at it on a whim. Jeremy called me and said, hey, I'm gonna pick you up and we're gonna go meet our real estate agent at six. And I was like, okay, normally guys, we talk about a property for weeks before we go look at it. How's it gonna work? How's it gonna cash flow? Not with this. He saw it, he said, let's go look at it. And I fell in love with the house, which I'm not showing you guys for pretty obvious reasons, just for privacy. The property's quiet, it's private. So this is the creek. We own a third of an acre on that side of the creek. We're gonna do a cantilevered pier out, I think, or some stairs or some way to get down there. There is a step down here, kind of a natural step. You can go down and get to the creek. There are fish, it's cold, like every creek in Arkansas. Jeremy, it was, that was his thing. He decided after we looked at property a couple of months ago that was on the Illinois River, that he really wanted to be on some water. So I'm really excited, guys. It's gonna be a long journey to get here. We're looking at a January, end of December, beginning of January, but the fence will be up and the barn will be here. The barn has been ordered. So we've gotta do the dirt work for it just to level it out. We're not gonna put concrete in it. It's just gonna be gravel and dirt floor for the girls. Jeremy's shop is gonna be in the garage. The garage isn't quite big enough for his truck. So I'll have parking on one side and I'll have his shop in the other. We're gonna build new houses for the pigs and the boy goats. And we're gonna use this acreage past the trees in the summer and I'm gonna use my hot fence to rotate the animals out here, but we're not gonna have any permanent fence out here for them. We're even talking that maybe one day we'll have a Justin Rhodes chickshaw and have maybe four or five laying hens out here running around one day. There's a lot of things that we can do on this property. We can raise meat birds out here. We can raise our pigs. We can raise our goats. We can garden. We have all these fruit trees. It's just gonna be a big change for us to start over and be able to build something exactly the way that we want it. And I'm really excited about these I love roses roses are my favorite thing my mom used to help me grow them when I was a kid and now she has beautiful rose bushes so I'm really excited about those as well so I hope you guys are excited you're gonna be over here with us as we build fence and then barns and everything and as the girls move over we're gonna keep doing YouTube when we're over here same thing just different place but we're excited to be out of our crazy place it's gonna take us a couple of months to get over here my parents are super awesome and they're gonna come stay here so somebody's living in our house for the next couple of months, which is great. So we build and do things, there's somebody here to kind of watch. So if you guys are excited. We just got back from unpacking at the new house. And of course it's already dark. Oh, we're not going in, buds. Oh, we're not going in. I know, but we're not going in. We'll have a dog bone in a minute. I hear Poppy. 
I hear her. Come on, pop up. Okay, guys, how are ya? I'm gonna come out and check on my goaties. <laughs> Some of them are in here. It's pretty chilly. It's pretty chilly. Hi, pop ups. Hi, Daisy. We need to find Zilly. I'm sure she's out here. Where are the rest of my goats? All right, let's see Fern. Pixie's sleeping. And Zelly looks okay. We're just gonna leave her out here. Swizzy, Cece, they're all camped out here. It's, there's a lot of hay, a lot of waste hay in here, so it's probably super comfortable. I think you're all right for now. We got Link. Link always comes to see what's going on. Hey, buddy. Pig number one, pig number two, hello. Hi, where's Waffles? I bet he didn't come out. He's like, man, it's cold. What are y'all doing? It's time for bed. All right. Night night, pigs. Night night, poor chap. Night night, little pig. Your water's full. We're still butt sniffing, guys. Like, we're on like a week of this, really. Good night, littles. We'll see you in the morning. Go get in your warm house. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. Oh look, everybody decided to come. We can turn our light off. Everybody's pretty sleepy, but everybody looks okay. This one looks okay. It's really the one that I needed to check on. Everybody has water. I think everybody will be all right overnight. They had a good day. Plenty of hay. They've not eaten the hay today like they did yesterday. So that tells me they kind of adjusted. They're all kind of confused because they've been asleep. So they're not really sure if it's morning. All right, here you go, pregnant lady. Here you go, giraffe. All right, good night, girls. I told the boys I'm going in. I have been cold all day long. I'm tired of being cold. <laughs> yep, I don't know. You guys can really see them, but they're they're over there. They're all in the house together, all nice and toasty. Little grouchy. The dumbest cow that we have uh, is empty. You guys are so weird. To be out of our crazy place. Where are the rest of my goats? <laughs>